you for watching Wikipedia World videos. In this session, we will learn about document generation wizard, and we will take the base document as our sales order and the target document as delivery. Document generation wizard has these many target documents. You can create sales orders, deliveries, returns, AR invoices. In each wizard, you have to choose only one target document type. But in this session, we will take our target document as delivery, and that will be based on the sales order. Document generation wizard is found in sales AR module or sales module as document generation wizard. What is the purpose of this wizard? The document generation wizard helps user to perform batch processing of the sales documents. The wizard recommends a simple way to include rows from several base documents in a single target document according to the parameters that you define. We'll see what are the parameters, how the target document can be defined or selected and what base document can be selected in order to create a target document in the coming slides. Let's see how to run a document generation wizard. Document generation wizard enables you to generate a batch processing of a sales document. The wizard guides you step by step through the definition of the parameters required to generate the documents. First step is in the generating of this uh, documents, the generate wizard for the target documents according to an existing parameter or a new parameter set. What you can do is you can either use an existing parameter or you can altogether define a new parameter. You can specify the document type and the characteristics of the target document. You can define the base documents that you want to process choose the appropriate document types and other selection criteria. To define criteria for consolidating base documents into target document, you may also choose to create one target document for each base document rather than consolidating. To select those customers for whom you want to perform a summary. To define how SAP Business One responds to missing data, bookkeeping or inventory and you can also choose how the wizard should act. You can execute the wizard or you can save the parameters that you have set and execute the wizard or you can save the parameter for a future run and exit. Finally, you can view the summary of the target documents created per customer as well as errors and warning messages. Before we see the, these steps in detail, let us see the requirement for the document generation for target document as delivery. For running this without taking delivery as the target document, we need to have few sales order in open state so we can convert those sales order into delivery. Now there is an open item list report that you find in sales report. In these drop downs, there are lots of other options, but for this presentation or this video, I have taken the sales order as my selection. You can see these many are the sales order that have, are in open state in our system. This is my sales order. Now when you open the sales order, it opens in add mode, but I have opened it in find mode. I have taken it in find mode. These are the sales order that are in our system. You can see that the status is closed. What I can do, I can sort these sales order by the delivery date by just double clicking on this delivery date. When I do so, we can see that the sales, the list of the sales order has been sorted through the delivery date. We can see that the delivery date uh, is now the selection criteria for our list of sales order. And what we'll do, we'll take a couple of sales order from here in this window that you are you can see and we'll try to convert them into delivery and also you can see that the status is open here again this is our generation wizard this is the first window that when you click on the document generation wizard 
It says that the document generation wizard enables you to perform batch processing of the target documents. This wizard will guide you step by step through the definition of parameters required to generate the documents. We'll say next. You can see that there is an existing parameter. What we'll do in this case, we'll set a new parameter. We'll say next. You have to set a new parameter. Now what you can do is you can either use an existing parameter that we saw in the last slide or you can altogether define a new parameter. Set name. You can enter the name for new parameter to set identify to use it later. You can set a description for the thing. And also you have to note here that the last modified date on which you modify the parameter set that appears only if you are selecting the existing parameter. These are the target documents that you can select. This is the target document uh, window. This is step two of our uh, document generation wizard. You can see there is sales order, delivery, returns, AR invoice. Choosing delivery as target document displays sales quotation, sales order and AR invoice as our base document that we'll see in the next slide. You can see here. I have taken sales order as my base document. I have given date, the range of the date. Now, whatever sales order that are in open order or open state and they fall between these dates, including these two dates, uh, will be the part of my document generation wizard. I'll say next here. These are the consolidation option for me. You can use this window to define the criteria for consolidating base documents into target documents. You may also choose to create one target document for each of the base document rather than consolidating. There is a ship to address a consolidation that consolidates all base rows with the same ship to address entry into one target document. There is payment terms consolidation which consolidates all base document with the same payment terms into one document. If you do not select this parameter, the application consolidates the base document with different payment terms into one target document. In this document, the payment terms are those that you define for the customers and we have already seen in the business partner master data. Payment method consolidates all the base document with the same payment method into one target document. If you do not select this parameter, the system consolidates the base document with different payment methods in one target document. Expanded consolidation option. You can select additional selection criteria for uh, marketing documents that you use to consolidate target documents and you can even choose no consolidation at all and this selection will create one target document for each of the base document i'll say next here this is the next step of document generation wizard where you have to choose your customers i have chosen six customers i'll say next now this is the message and the alert step 6 of our document generation wizard. You can use this window to define how SAP Business One will respond to the missing data, bookkeeping or inventory. You can select a response for missing data such as exchange rate or you can skip to the next document that will proceed with the same business partner but skip the current document. You can choose to skip to next customer. This will the system will skip the current customer and proceed to the next one. This option is available if you selected no consolidation or you can ask for user confirmation as well. For this run, I will choose all the three criteria as skip to the next document. 
I'll say next. Now the system is giving me three options. I can either execute, I can save my parameter and then execute. I can save my parameter and then exit without executing anything. Also here the system enables you to override the existing name. If you, if you want to change the name of the parameter, you can change the name as well. And if by chance you have missed the name of the parameter, you can just mention the name of the parameter in this window. I'll say next here. System is asking me running this wizard results in creation of number of documents and you cannot cancel this operation. Do you want to continue? I will say yes. These are the messages that the system is giving me. Well, this is the summary report. You can see that there are some deliveries that are uh, being created by the system. And there are some errors that the system is giving me. Cannot add row without complete selection of batch serial numbers. That means the deliveries have been failed here and some deliveries have been created here. I'll say finish. Here is our delivery window and you can see here that our deliveries have been created. We will try to create the whole scenario right from the sales code to air invoice through this wizard in the coming sessions. Stay tuned then. Thank you.